Hello guys and welcome to my summer project use it up update for the month of August. This is going to be my last update before we end off the project and start the fall project use it up. Oh my gosh! What a wonderful So I have a ton of empties to share with you guys and a ton of progress since I last, last updated you in July. So we have a lot to go over. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, my favorite part, empties. So first things first, which I've talked about some of these in my July empties. If you haven't seen that already, I'll link it up above. But I did finish Beach Nights. This is in the shower gel and I loved it. I love Beach Nights. It's one of my favorites of all time. So the last update, it was right here and I just finished off. It was pretty much almost done. So yeah, finished off my Beach Night shower gel. Sorry if you hear that like chewing noise, that's Kai with his little lammy down by my feet. Um, I was using a mic by the way guys and it kept shorting out. So I really can only record short form videos with that mic because it'll cut out after a couple minutes and then I have to do a voiceover and it just takes so much longer to edit if I do that. So. I guess I need to get a new mic, um, but yeah, that one was not good, so. Next empty, I have a perfume. This is Replica's Lazy Sunday Morning, and I finished this one off. Uh, it was about up here last time, about halfway. Finished it. I've been really using it mostly on my legs because it does kind of trigger my asthma. Um, it is pretty good, though. I have to say, I kind of like it, and it lasts a really long time, um, but I don't think I could ever actually purchase a full size because it would just irritate me. But if you like a clean scent, definitely try Lazy Sunday Morning from a Replica. And then something I'm so sad about finishing, this is my Sol de Janeiro 62 Pistachio and Salted Caramel. I'm so sad that this one is finished because it is my favorite. And we were right about here on the last update, so we were almost finished. And yeah, I just finished it off. One of my favorites, just like the best summer scent ever. It's so yummy. I'm definitely gonna have to get a full size of it for next summer. Um, but yeah, it's one of my favorites. It's so good. Also finished off another shower gel. This is the Pacifica Island Vanilla. And this one, I was about right here before I finished it. These pump ones are so easy to finish. I love it. And yeah, this was a really good um, formula. It was kind of like a basic shower gel. It wasn't super frothy, but it wasn't like creamy. It was just a basic vanilla shower gel. It was good. I don't know the price of Pacifica shower gels, but I would definitely consider getting more. And the last empty that I have to share with you guys, this is my Dionys Goat Milk Vanilla Bean Whipped Body Scrub. So this one I finished off last month and it was again, kind of a basic vanilla scent. Um, the formula of these goat milk body scrubs from Dionys are like very frothy and very gentle. And I liked that it was very gentle and it felt very nice on the skin. I don't really know where they sell Dionys, to be honest, um, but it was nice. I think they might sell it at Ulta. It was nice. If I found a different scent, I would probably try it again, but Vanilla Bean was just so basic. I probably wouldn't get this one, but I would try another one of theirs just because it was nice and gentle and foaming and it felt pretty nice on the skin. Okay, let's go through what I have left from my collection and it's not a lot. Um, so yeah, first we have my fresh coconut and cotton little combo. It's literally just the mist and the body cream that's left. So the mist, I did get a little bit of progress on just from here to here. Honestly, not a ton. Um, this one's another one that kind of does also trigger my asthma. So I can't spray too much of it and I have to be very careful about when I do. So yeah, this one, I like that it is like a fresh clean scent though. It's very nice for these really hot days. We've been reaching um, almost 100 degrees here in Texas. So I think we are supposed to get 100 degrees this week and I'm not excited about it, but this one has been really nice for those super hot days. So I really do like that. And then the body cream, I don't have a lot of progress on. I have not been using body creams over the last month. It's just been so hot here that I don't want them. So we got a tiny bit of progress just from here to here. As compared to the last month, it was a lot. So yeah, um, I'm gonna keep it in and try to finish it, but we shall see. It is from 2023, so it's not like it's old or anything. I think this one would be fine if I wanted to keep it for another year, so I might just do that. Next, we have my Beach Nights Body Care Combo. This one only has four items left in the combination. So first, the Beach Nights Fine Fragrance Mist. Um, I got a steady amount of progress just from here to here, just like last month. And yeah, it's one of my favorites since 
I'm definitely going to be using this more now that the Sol de Janeiro mist is done. It's one of my favorites. I'm excited that I'm not finishing up this year and I'll, I'll probably have it for next year too. Um, it's just such a good scent. And then like I said, body creams I have not been using a lot. So I only have a little bit of progress on my whipped coconut milkshake just from here to here. Um, this one I am going to try to finish just because I am pretty much almost done. And it is getting yellow, which honestly doesn't mean that it's getting bad. But I know since it's a very vanilla scent, it probably will be bad by next summer. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to finish and focus on this one for next month. Um, honestly, we only have two more weeks, three more weeks left in August. So I need to focus on this one a lot. And then same goes for Meet Me in Miami, the body lotion. I am super close to finishing this. Kind of concave in there, so the line does not look like it's right there, but it is right there, I swear. So yeah, we are very close to finishing it. This one, Ryan has actually been using too and liking it. So Meet Me in Miami is really yummy. It's breezy palm trees, cabana, coladas, and suntan days. Kind of smells like a um, some sort of like coconutty body lotion. I mean, coconutty sunscreen is what it smells like to me. It's really yummy. I've been loving this one. It is almost finished and I definitely will have it done before the next update or the before the finale actually. And then we have Ariana Grande's Moonlight Perfume. I have been using this and you can kind of tell, you can see where the bubble is in the packaging. It's right about here. So I have been using it steadily. Um, honestly, not the best combo for the whipped coconut milkshake. I think I'll actually move it over to my fresh coconut and cotton. I feel like that's a better combo for it. But yeah, I've been liking it. It's not anything amazing to me. It's not one of my favorite scents because it's not gourmand, but I'm still liking it and it does last pretty well. And then the only thing left in my vanilla body care combo is just these two. That's so sad. So we have Wild Madagascar Vanilla, which is still right up to here. Um, I did get some good progress on it, but yeah, we're still up here. I don't know if I will finish this, um, but I will probably end up rolling it over into the fall project just because it is a vanilla it's very easy to combo with other things so I'll probably end up uh, finishing this more in the fall but I'm pretty close to being done with it so I think we'll have a lot of progress on this for the next uh, update and then we have the Pacifica Island Vanilla Perfume and this one I've gotten a lot of progress on so it was full when I put it in the summer project and I guarantee we'll be about halfway used once we finish the summer project so I'm pretty happy about that really like this scent um a lot of you guys have said that this has actually been reformulated which i'm so sad about because it lasts really long and the scent is really nice so i'm really sad about that but my local grocery store heb has actually been selling pacifica and it is in this um bottle type and formulation but the target near me sells it in a new bottle i think that is the new formulation so if you can check your like local grocery store or something and see if they carry pacifica i think even whole foods carries pacifica um you might be able to find the older versions of this but target and ulta have the new versions so just a word of the wise there okay my last combo that i put in actually last month and this is vacation vibe now this is literally just a sol de janeiro dupe and I'm actually gonna put in a new item to this combo and that's the Tropic Glow Tree Hut Body Scrub. So let's talk about these two first. I have gotten some great progress because this is my last shower gel in the summer project that's left. So I'm getting really, really great progress on it and it's the best scent ever. It's whipped pistachio, sun-drenched jasmine and praline amber. So again, it's just pistachio praline. It's so yummy. So it was unused when I put it in last time and now we are right about here. So getting some really good use on it. I'll probably be about halfway next time and then retire it for next summer, but it's such a lovely scent. I'm loving it so much. And then we have the Exfoliating Glow Body Scrub, which I put in last month, but I actually have not used it yet. So I don't have any progress on it. We're still right here, but I plan on obviously using it this month since I don't have any more body scrubs. So this will be my gentle kind of everyday body scrub. And then I'm putting in a new one for my super exfoliating kind of more coarse scrub. So this is the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. Now this one is also supposed to be a Sol de Janeiro dupe and it's this beautiful like golden color and the scent is amazing. So yeah, I'm loving the scent of this. I picked this up actually 
a couple days ago at Target. We were just walking through picking up a couple things after dinner, Ryan and I, and I was like, oh, I need a new body scrub for summer. So we picked up this one. It's completely unused. I'm gonna start using it this month. I probably will retire it again to save for next summer, but it's nice to have one that I can use now because the only scrubs that I have are like fall and winter. So we'll be using this one and this one in the shower. And that is it for my final update for the summer project use it up. So at the end of the month, I will go ahead and do the finale for you guys, which will be updating you on any more progress and any more empties. We'll go through all of the empties that I've gathered throughout the entire project throughout the whole three months. And then um, maybe we'll pick out the stuff for the fall project use it up together on that video. That would actually be really fun. So that's everything for the summer project use it up update. Let me know down below, what are you using now that we're in August? Have you transitioned to fall or are you still really loving summer scents? I, for one, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm really trying not to go full fall mode yet. I'm trying to wait until September 1st, but I don't know if I'm going to last that long. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I'm going to last that long. So I've been doing really good about like not shopping and stuff for fall though, because I'm kind of on a low buy. So we shall see, but I really do need to pick up a couple body care items because I don't have enough to do a project yet. I might be doing some fall body care shopping later on. So if I do, you'll see that in the vlog. Make sure you're subscribed and turn on the bell so you can be notified of my vlogs. I'm back to vlogging like normal and I hope you guys are enjoying it. But that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.